And it's generally a rallying cry for all of the people in this country who are tired of being poor, who are tired of being downtrodden, who are tired of policies that favor the rich um, and you know aren't paying off for them. And it's become a lot more than that in that it's started to encompass a lot of other issues of social justice and inequality that are perpetuated by the system. Um, and right now, um, what we're hoping to see here in Baltimore is for people to come out and start, you know, telling us what they think. We want to hear people's voices. We want to hear how these broader issues have impacted people directly in Baltimore. Okay. At least that's what I want to see. Okay, and talk to me, um, you touched upon this a little bit, but why are you guys so frustrated? Um, well, I have just graduated from college last April and um, moved back home and with my mom, which is something that I always swore to myself I would never do, but it was a financial inevitability. Um, I think that's the story of a lot of different people here. Um, I do want to make it clear, though, that, that that's just my story. Everybody's got a different reason for being here, and everybody has a different idea of what this movement means. And because we don't have a leader um, that, you know, you, you talk to anyone here and you're, you're going to find something slightly different, and that's kind of the beauty of it, is that this isn't something that can be boiled down um, to a slogan or an ideology. Um, this is really about a complicated um, problem. and the way that people are coming together to try and address it. Okay, uh, congratulations on uh, getting your bachelor's, or was it your master's? It was my bachelor's, yeah. Okay, uh, what did you major in? What did you study? In? I studied theater at Oberlin College in Ohio. Okay. Um, they always say that you don't get jobs in theater, but actually all of my theater friends are the ones who are finding the most employment nowadays. Interesting. So talk to me a little bit about that struggle. You graduate from college, you have all these uh, ideas and thoughts about how you think life is going to be outside of college. Have things measured up so far? Absolutely not. Um, things, I, and it really gets me down a lot, and I think that this movement came for me at a really opportune time. If I wasn't here, I would be sitting in my bedroom, the same bedroom that I lived in when I was in high school, and just reading. Um, this has given me something to really care about. This has given me a way to engage with other people who are like me and who are not like me, um, and to figure out what is making us unhappy and what we can do about it. So do you have student loans to pay off? I ideas? do, yes. So student loans are piling up and... Student loans are piling up. I have to start paying them in December. Right now I have absolutely zero source of income, although hopefully that's going to change soon. Okay. And um, you guys are upset with uh, what's happening in Wall Street? Mm-hmm. Um, well, yes. We're, <laughs> we're upset with what's happening in Wall Street generally. We're also upset with um, what's happening in New York with the protesters, you know, the police brutality. That's another big issue. And, um, part of the reason that it's important for us to be here is in solidarity with the people in New York. You know, um, even 20 people sleeping out on the street in Baltimore um, is going to say, even though that's a small number compared to the 20,000 that marched last night on the streets of New York City, that says we're with you. Okay. And what do you guys hope to gain from the protests here in Baltimore? Um, well, uh, that's not something I can't, I certainly can't speak for the group when I say this. What I want to see happen with this protest is for us to start taking action and start doing outreach to communities that are not just the people here. Uh, most of the people here are white. Most of the people here are young. Um, and Baltimore has a very insular activist artist community and they've come out in droves to support this movement and that's great. But this is in Baltimore and I think we've reached the critical point where we have the infrastructure, we're doing amazing things, um, we have all of these committees and, and they're great, they're working so well and now is the time that we need to take it to the next step. You know, and today we've Which been be, sitting around all day. Next step? Um, what I think we need to do is organize marches first and foremost. We need rallying points for people that are not part of this scene, for people that don't want to just come down here and chill, but do want to march against things like the city shelter not having enough beds for women. People who do want to march against things like um, the youth jail, which was sort of our kickoff march last Tuesday. Okay, and uh, I'm assuming you guys want to reach out to the local politicians in the area. What, uh, what are you hoping that they take away from this event? Um, I want acknowledgement first and foremost. Today was the first day, now I know he's not local, but today was the first day that Barack Obama acknowledged the protest in the media. Um, I want dialogue with the politicians. I would like to see them um, come engage us um, and address 
the demands of the people, you know? Talk about the fact that people are so unhappy that we're out here sleeping in the cold in the harbor just to get attention. Okay. And lastly, a lot of people are drawing comparisons to the uh, protests and the uprisings that we've seen in the Middle East over the past year. Um, do you think that those uh, comparisons ring true to what's happening here in the States and here in Baltimore? I think that what's happening here was directly inspired by what happened in the Middle East. I think that when you ask me to make comparisons, it's sort of getting into a dangerous territory because people are going to say, how can you do that, that we're overthrowing a brutal dictator? Um, I think in America, well, I would love to see us overthrow many parts of our governmental system here. That's just not a reality for us right now. Um, but what I'm hoping this protest can do is get people to realize that they don't have to take everything for granted. That just because they grew up with something being the same way their entire lives, that doesn't mean that it can't change. Just because all of the big money doesn't want it to change, just because all of the politicians don't want it to change, doesn't mean that people, if we have enough of them, if we stand strong enough, can't make that change happen. Anything else to add that I may not have touched upon? Um, please come out and support our movement. We want to hear from people all across Baltimore. Um, and to those in New York that might be seeing this, stay strong. We support you. We're good. Thank you so much, Jenny. Yeah, thank you.